If I traded it all, if I gave it all away for one thing. So welcome back, everyone. Be something. We are live on Facebook, so hi to everybody out there. And you know what? It's summertime, and we've got all our air conditioning it on It is up hot, here, hot, Santa, hot out there. And we've got Solar Sandy here it that's going to show you how to lower a bill that you're already paying way too much money on. It is so hot out there, Carol. My goodness. Everybody that that's inside right now, everybody should be inside, staying cool and comfortable. And here's what I say to everybody. This is an absolute essential bill. We all have to pay it. And what if you could find out what exactly what you're paying for your kilowatts, that's the, the, the unit of power that you're buying from the power company. And I could show you how to PYOP, produce your own power, and pay far less for it. And my APS families, Carol, I, I don't have my book, but I brought the bills in before. You couldn't anymore because I, it would so take heavy. a wheelbarrow. It's so heavy. Um, Every one of my families under the new rate plans that came out in, in May of 2018 um, are living more comfortably, and you've seen the bills, Carol. The proof is in the bills. They're paying zero to APS, and most of them have credits that they will get some form of a credit check from APS at the end of the year. So if you're, keep, if you're keeping your house at 82 to, 80 to 82, and you'd like to be a little bit more comfortable and not have your bill go up because you're wanting to live more comfortably, here's the thing. I say this to people. This is the only product, goods, or service that dictates to us how affordably and or unaffordably or how comfortable or uncomfortably we live in our own homes. Think about this. When we leave our houses and we go to the grocery store, we decide whether we're going to Fry's or Whole Foods or Safeway or wherever we're going to buy our groceries. Or where we're going to buy our gas, you know, that's a few cents cheaper over here, we're going to go there. But when we have our home is in a designated area, there's a designated power company. You're either APS or you're SRP. Now, you don't have a choice in that matter. You chose where you live. You chose your home. Um, but now you have a choice on how much you pay for your electricity. You're going to, what I do is, you know, this started because I couldn't help my own daughter. Before you go there, okay. I want to tell you what somebody asked me just before. And most people ask me this okay. when I say, and Solar Sandy's going to be here today. <sighs> and they'll say to me, well, what exactly does Solar Sandy do? Oh, okay. What well. a great place for me to say that to you. Please tell everybody, explain to them what you actually really do. So let's start by, you know, I'm just a mom and a grandma and a retired registered nurse that um, over six years ago, my daughter called me with a very high electric bill, and I myself was on a fixed income, and I couldn't help her pay her electric bill because I was on a fixed income. I knew nothing about solar like many people out there. Probably there's some people out there that knew more than I did when I was looking at this, helping my daughter through this process. And I didn't even know solar was a solution for her. I was just looking for a way to lower her cost of her power bill. Um, you know, So I, I sat down at my eye iPad and Googled, how do you lower electric bill? So all these energy efficiency measures and super cooling and LED lights and all that kind of thing pulled up. And uh, those are good ideas, but it, they only it's going to save you a little bit. It's not going to significantly impact your power bill or how comfortably you're living in your house. So um, I called a few people, and they came out, and they couldn't answer my questions. This is going to be the power source on my daughter's home, producing her electricity. And if they couldn't answer my questions to my satisfaction it didn't matter if it sounded as good as sliced bread it, it wasn't happening so I said to my daughter give me a little bit of time to figure this out because when I was a nurse I had to you know draw the medication I had to double check the, the, the dosages that I was administering because there was no I'm giving my age away there was no Google phones at that time so I did a lot of math the old-fashioned way on a piece of paper and a pen, double-checked, you know, dosages. So I looked at this and said, this is just a math formula. How much electricity was my daughter Chelsea using over the last 12 months is a pretty good indicator of how much electricity she would use going forward. 
Then I said, well, oh, her power company has all these different rate plans because at nighttime when the sun goes down, those panels aren't going to produce any electricity. She's going to have to buy some from the power company. So I had to figure out which rate plan was the best to have her with, uh, with the solar. So I figured that out. And then I kept on reading and I saw... Most people who put solar panels on their house want to keep their house a little bit more comfortable and have a little bit of wiggle room. And so I said, oh, this is important because some people think, oh, you put panels up on the roof and it magically produces all the electricity. As long as the sun's up, it's going to produce as much electricity as you want. Not true. The panels have a capacity. And once that capacity is reached, you're buying that electricity from the power company. So I factored that into my formula. And, you know, the third fellow came out and I said, this is how we're going to do it and how many panels she needs. And this is the rate plan she's going on. He says, my, my, we, I've never done it like this. And I says, probably not because you're not a mom and a grandma that can't afford to pay your daughter's power bill, let alone another bill if this doesn't work. So they did it to my specifications and her panels went on her house. And I followed her bills, and I followed them month after month, and Chelsea says, Mom, do you see what I'm seeing? And I said, yeah, you're saving even more than I anticipated. She goes, yeah, Mom. And so, you know, it's one thing to be told something is going to happen when you go solar. It's another thing to be shown, and that's why I carry my book around. Because if somebody can't show you how this is going to work and how it's going to save you money and it's going to zero out your APS bill and potentially give you a check back from APS at the end of the year, then they need to stop talking. And that is why I carry the book around because I followed my daughter's bills for over a year. Every month after month, she was saving money. And then I helped her neighbor and I helped her neighbor's neighbor and I helped the neighbor's neighbor after that. So it's all started with me sitting down at the kitchen table and I created my very first kilowatt worksheet on yellow pad of paper and, and pencil and that's how people start with me. Tell me how much power you're using over the last 12 months. Tell me which power company you're with and tell me which rate plan you're on. Then when I come out to see you, I know how much power you're using, how much power we need to replace, and I can show you how you're going to produce your own power, pay significantly less for it, and have APS pay you at the end of the year with, and you're, you, you potentially have a zero APS bill. So that's what I do and that's how I do it. So tell them how to get started. Well, how you get started is you go up on her website, which is AskSolarSandy.com and fill out that kilowatt worksheet. Uh, you can also call her. She loves to talk to you. She loves to get calls. And even if you've talked to her before and this you This is a new program. Let's talk about what's this, a new program. Let this, me give out your phone yeah, number for go, a second. Go, go. So let me give out her phone number. It's 623 850-8229. It's a free, no obligation, free consultation. So if you looked at this several years ago, this option that APS, the zero APS bills was not available. So let's see if you qualify for a zero APS bill and qualify for getting some money back from APS. It's really simple. Let, fill out the kilowatt worksheet, show me how much electricity you're using. I come out and I do a solar saving proposal so then we can see how much you need and I'll give you that little smidge more, Carol. That's where that little smidge more so you can live more comfortably. Drop that th thermostat down from 82 to uh, from 82 or 80 down to, well, let's get wild and say 76, 77 wow, degrees. Jeez. <laughs> you know, I was in a house today. And they, it's a lovely home, very lovely people, but it was a tad warm in there. And his wife, Stacy, said, I just love to be able to keep my house at 76, 77. And I said, well, you're going to be able to do that. And you're stu you're, the way my formulas work is based on what I've done, you'll have a zero APS bill. And at the end of the year, potentially getting a check back from APS. I see them all. I mean, I see them where they're negative. And each month, as you go along, that 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 credit sort of set goes to the next month, the next month. And by the end of the year, you have money that's coming right back to you into your pocket. And so there's two reasons to do this. It's number one, you're paying a lower per kilowatt cost for your electricity than APS is charging or SRP. 
and you're living more comfortably in your own home. Now, you can call her. It's hot out there, and you don't need to be paying these high bills, and she's going to show you how she can lower that bill for you. That number to call is 623-850-8229. The website is AskSolarSandy.com, and fill out that kilowatt worksheet. For trading it all, if I gave so welcome back, everyone. And we are talking with Solar Sandy, and she's here to help you understand what this is all about, producing your own power. And there's no money to get started, Carol. A lot of people think, you know, geez, I can't afford to go solar. I can't afford the cost. There's no money out of pocket to get started. Um, you're going to pay for power one way or the other. You're going to either buy it retail from the power company or you're going to produce it wholesale on your own roof. And talking about roofs, maybe there's somebody out there that's listening that they really have been wanting to go solar for a long time, but somebody told them that their roof needs to be redone. I can help them with that. And so don't let something stop you from looking into it because I can usually help with many of the circumstances some people might think, geez, well, we can't have it because, again, our, our roof needs to be redone. I can help get that accomplished. I bet you a lot of people also think that the HOA will probably not let them have it or have rules. That's true. And so there's no HOA in the state of Arizona that can say no. It's against the law for them to say no. So the bottom line is you're going to buy electricity for the rest of your life in your home. The average home in Arizona will spend eighty to $100,000 over the next 20 to 25 years on their power costs. And that's just an average house, an average size house. Some houses that are bigger, living a little bit more on the edge, maybe 79, 80 degrees versus 82, will spend more over that period of time on their electricity. So by PYOP, producing your own power, you're paying a lower cost per kilowatt and you're putting that money that you would have been giving or sending to the APS or SRP in your pocket versus the power companies. But you can also help people, like, for instance, we know that you can help people. They've helped my friend of mine who um, that isn't even living in their home. They've maybe they purchased a home and they're ready to move in, but they haven't yet. Absolutely, Carol. If you don't have 12 months worth of your electrical usage, um, if you're just moving in, I need to, I need to know how, how how big the house is, how many AC units you have, what your desired temperature setting that you'd like to have it be at um, in your house. If you have a pool, no pool, how many AC units. So go fill out the kilowatt worksheet and just put 000 into the kilowatt worksheet and go to the bottom and say, my house is X you know, size, however many square foot it is, how many AC units, if you have a pool, no pool, put in that specific information and I will create a formula for your home and then we can go from there because I did that for, for your friend Debbie yeah be, absolutely. as she was moving in I had just met you and I had said have you ever heard of Solar Sandy you know, you know she was on my show today and you helped her she'd been there now for I think almost a year or so with with the uh, with it on. Yeah, yes and so also but even renters people that um, uh, are renting if you know your uh, landlord she can help them uh, she wants to help everyone she wants to help put, people here in Arizona put money in your pocket instead of giving it to the electric company. Exactly. And SRP, I can help people in SRP as well. It's a little different program. You know, in APS, they're buying the power, the extra power back for 11.6 and that's how I'm able to zero out, potentially zero out everybody's bill. In SRP, they don't buy the power back for, for that rate. So there's a formula that I've developed and used and that's given me a proven track record in SRP as well. Again, everybody, if you've you may have looked at solar three, four, or five years ago, and it just it didn't make sense. It you didn't have your. It's like my daughter, and my daughter and myself when we looked at, we couldn't get our questions answered quite to our satisfaction. It was like, you know, just not quite making sense. Take a look at it again because the APS program has only been available since 2018, so things have changed. For the number one thing that's changed, your power bill in 2017 went up. In 2018, it went up again, and it's going up again in August. Well, I'll tell you something. There's always new uh, programs, and that's what's really important, is the people to understand that even if you've thought about it, if you've been on the fence about it, you should talk to her no matter what. She doesn't mind. You can call her as many times as you want. She's going to try and help you 
to understand what this is. And at some point, it might make sense to do. Absolutely. And, and when I show people the, the proof is in the bills, the bills that I've accumulated with my families that I've worked with, it really makes a difference to be able to see it, um, not just hear it. Right. So allow me to show you how I achieve that zero APS bill. And then I've got some bills from SRP as well that I can show families. Um, this one, you can, you can read it for me. Um, Matt and his wife, their bills prior to solar in 2018 were? Uh, 208. 17. I'm sorry. Yep. Two, 208. Uh, 11. 11. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm reading it upside down. And now. Yeah, I forgot the cents. And now in May of 2019. $43.47. So in SRP, it's a little bit different, so I can't completely zero out the bill, but I can get your bills down significantly. I'd be so thrilled. Yes. Right? And then, and they're living much more comfortably than they were paying a lower per kilowatt rate by producing their own power on their own roof than they would be paying to SRP. So again, it doesn't matter if you're APS or SRP, there is a formula, a proven formula that I can show you the bills to show you how I'm achieving and how, I, how, how you're saving and achieving the savings. And you can see it with your own eyes. You're not just hearing it, you're seeing it with your own eyes. And I mean, I really, I, I, I did this for my own daughter. So when I was I was talking to people today, I said, I didn't learn this because I didn't wake up one day and say I wanted to go sell solar panels or go go do anything with solar. I was a mom was who could, I couldn't help my own daughter pay her electric bill. And I didn't know anything about solar. So I had to figure this out on what was she paying per kilowatt and what was it going to save her to have panels producing her kilowatts. And once I understood that and I could explain it to my own daughter, that's the way that I learned this. So there's no fancy solar rhetoric or solar technical terms. I explain it very simply. Once you understand what you're paying for something and now being shown how you can save money on the same thing, that your kilowatts, then it starts coming together and making sense for people. And it's really that simple, Carol. Um, the, the, the equipment is warranted for 25 years. People don't have to worry about their roofs. Their roofs are warranted. Everything is taken care of for them. So once their main understanding of what what they're what they're paying for their, their electricity, how they'll be paying less for the electricity and how it all comes together, that's when it's a powerful moment. Well I'll tell you something I'll tell you something though. A lot of people are getting their bills right now. Oh my and they're, gosh. They're astronomical. And so uh, you know you're sitting here thinking, well okay I made it through this summer. I'm not going to do it. Well you know what you shouldn't wait. That's really important for people to understand by getting on into working with you and going, I want to say it this way, by producing their own power mm -hmm. now um, by the end of the year or however long it takes. And there's there's times that it does take time because this is not a very simple thing. It's got, it takes a lot of steps to do it. And then it, before that, then they also have another... Uh, wonderful credit. things, which is the tax credit. Yes. This is the year, folks. If you miss this window and you miss this time frame, you're leaving a lot of money on your roof because you're getting a 30% federal tax credit. For most people, that's well over $10,000 and $1,000 back from the state. So... APS and SRP are never going to give you a dime as a rebate, a refund, anything for buying their retail power. Now, by producing your own power, you're you're entitled to. If you're paying federal, if you're working and paying federal income tax, you are entitled to a, t a 30 percent federal tax credit and a thousand dollars back from the state. So again, this is a very significant um, significant to homeowners because now their power costs 30 percent of it's being paid by the federal government and thousand dollars for the state. Well, you. Know, you're going to want to be on this now because to yes all of these wonderful things but then next year we've got you know see how fast the year goes by you're going to be having high bills it doesn't matter it costs a lot of money to live on our homes and most of the money is going to your your uh, your electric bill the same electricity that you were buying if you're an APS the same electricity you were buying in 2016 went up in 2017 the APS changed the names of the rate plans but actually in there was disguised a rating increase. So it went up in 2017. The same electricity that you're buying in 2017 
changed and is more expensive today. Some people we saw bills going up um, as as much as 25 to 50 percent, depending on which rate plan you were on. Um, people saw this exor- exorbitant change in their bills. So again, it's about living more comfortably and more affordably in your own home, because when the when the when the power rates go up again, and they will, and there's supposed to be possibly another one in in August. Um, what 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 are people to do? You have no choice. You have to live with it. But you do have a choice to listen to this show and get this information and write it down and call her. It's a free, no obligation, free consultation. It's just for you to be able to. She can come in and at least for the first thing you may at least understand your bill. Exactly. Starting off with that, and then you can learn about all of what it takes to produce your own power and, and save. find out and save and find out if it's right. And you know what? It, it, it most of the time it's right. Sometimes it's wrong. You say okay, but this is the only educating way. Educating people. It's Carol. all about educating and finding out whether it's right. And she comes to. She loves to go to everybody. You can also call her direct. She she'll. T- I don't care how many times you've called her. Call her again. She wants to talk to you again, over and over and over again. There's new programs. You don't know whether it's going to be right or wrong unless you ask. Exactly. So 623-850-8229. It's AskSolarSandy.com. Go out and fill it, fill out the kilowatt worksheet. Say that three times. <laughs> and again, call her 623-850-8229.